Those of you that have seen this channel before know that I love doing travel products, travel product reviews from luggage, backpacks, and other things that make travel more enjoyable or easier. These are two such items. This is the wash pouch and the small wash pouch from Peak Design. We're gonna get into these, show you the differences, and obviously you can see size is the biggest difference. Um, but yeah, I have, uh, both of these are actually partially loaded at least with things. This can hold a lot more obviously, but there are a few features uh, that maybe you're looking to go one way or the other. So that said, we're gonna bring the camera in here and we're gonna try to help, I guess, direct you to maybe which one of these will fit you the best. Okay, so let's start with the smaller of the two, the small wash pouch. Uh, we're gonna go over the outside features later. We're gonna start with just the inside features. So the inside features of the small wash pouch have four sections. So you can see side to side and then front to back. So it's kind of a four square kind of item, right? Uh, it's designed to sit upright when without falling over. It's designed very well with that because you can actually just keep everything in here and just set it by the sink when you're actually at your hotel. There is a small, a magnetic pouch right here, just very small. It came with the Peak Design sticker. I just kind of keep it in there, uh, like I do, I think, with a lot of my Peak Design stuff. And then on this side, there is a zippered pouch that has, you know, a little bit more room in than the other side. Uh, but it's gonna be tight, more, mainly because it is a tight, small pouch. Now, what I have in here currently, I have mouthwash, I have some, uh, well, some sunscreen in a tube. This is just a reusable tube. Uh, I have some medications. Um, I have Tums. I have uh, some uh, cologne, another small medication thing for that or for, uh, actually I put um, uh, vitamin stuff in there. My Quip toothbrush, some toothpaste and some, uh, some floss. That is everything I have in there. But you can see, even with as small as this is, it actually holds quite a bit of stuff. Now, I don't have um, a lot of trips coming up, but I am actually still using this for um, my upcoming trip that I have coming in a few days. And then it'll probably get uh, put away until, well, a little bit later. But that is the inside of the small wash pouch. Uh, let's go to the regular one. Again, we'll go over the outside here after we're done with the insides. So let's go ahead and zip this guy open and you'll notice real quick that there is larger spaces. Now first, let's go over uh, the inside. So on the one side, we actually have two um, kind of pockets with uh, breathable holes uh, built into the fabric. One there, one there. And then it's just a big open so section there. On the other side, we actually have a zippered section. So kind of like we had on the small wash pouch, but just uh, outside to outside. So little zippered area there with a couple more pouches inside there for separation. Inside the middle, there's actually a magnetic closed section, just some small stuff, uh, things that you wanna put in here, maybe some cosmetics, maybe some lip balm, things like that. Nothing too deep because it doesn't go all the way to the bottom, but holds itself magnetically closed. Also, just like the small watch pouch, designed to sit on the countertop without actually falling over, so you do not have to empty this and set it on the counter at your uh, the hotel. You can leave it in this pouch at all times, up to you, of course. In terms of what's in here currently, on the one side, it's pretty empty. It's uh, lots of space remaining. Um, still have um, mouthwash, tooth, a full thing of toothpaste in here, um, some deodorant, actually there's a, a razor in here too for traveling and then over here we have some wrinkle release some dry shampoo and then shampoo conditioner uh eye um contact lens solution stuff there's more more conditioner here and then still another pouch to put more in here just tons of space this thing's not filled both of these went with us on our two and a half week vacation i used the small wash pouch my wife used the lar the standard wash pouch um, this obviously holds a lot more. It, it does. I would argue it's probably a good 35%, maybe 40% additional room that you can really jam stuff in here versus the small watch pouch. Um, but yeah, for what it is, it's pretty awesome. Now, let's move on to the outside of the wash pouches because this is where they're very similar. Um, there is... Uh, one additional uh, pocket on the wash pouch, and that's the zipper pouch here. Small stuff, it's not very big at all. 
uh, maybe like uh, some lip balm, things like that. That's all you're really gonna fit in there. You might be able to say, uh, you get if you open that up, you'd get maybe a little extra room from the inside, but uh, most likely I can't see that as a big selling point. So that's the extra pouch on this one. The small wash pouch does not have that. It, it just doesn't. It has this little lip here that you can hold onto with your hand, but there's no additional zipper there. That said, on the other side of both the small and regular size wash pouch is the hook that you can hang this from. So if you actually reach down in here and it kind of comes out to the side, kind of see where I can grab onto it with my thumb and then spin it out. It actually has a coat hook. So you can hang this up. So if you're in the restroom and you don't want it sitting on the counter, or maybe the counter gets wet because it's a really small counter, but there's a place to hang, hang it on the door or whatever, you can, it does have that little hook. You don't have to use it, it's just an option. And same with the, the standard size, it actually has one there as well. So exact same spot, exact same hook essentially, um, just color coded with the color of the bag. So the black one gets the black hook, the sage one gets the silver hook. And so, and then you can just spin it back down in, just turn and spin back down in, and she stays out of the way. I have never actually used that hook. However, I can see when you run into situations that it's nice to have, it's great to have. It doesn't take away from the bag at all. It's just an extra feature that if you need it or want to use it, it's there. So some other wash pouches I have, I have this small tube, um, all rubberized from Kobe. It's great, it's really small. It, it forces you to pack smaller, but it gets really cramped if you're gonna go for anything more than a day or two. It, it does. I've used this for maybe up to like four or five days, but it gets really cramped and it, it does focus you to bring as much as you need, I guess, and not what you want. Um, and then of course my first um, dope bag was, or dot bag was this, just standard leather one that probably most people have seen before, right? It's just the basic standard. Um, and it allowed me to bring too much, but not only too much, it's just, there's no organization at all. Um, so this is the kind of bag that you don't leave stuff in, you, you take it out because you don't wanna be searching through all the time. Every time I wanted to get something out of this, I had to search through it. And of course, the small ones know better. Everything's so tight in here that you don't wanna keep it in here because it's a pain in the butt to deal with. Enter the, the Peak Design bags in both the small wash pouch as well as the standard wash pouch. Make it really easy to find exactly what you're looking for. I would argue that the standard size wash pouch is even easier just because you get more room and more customization with the, uh, the pockets and such in here than the small one. But both are fantastic items. Again, this small one goes for $49. This, the standard one goes for $59. And both are equally awesome. Absolutely. Since we've gotten these, or since I've gotten these, yeah, these don't get used anymore. They're, they're not even worth considering using anymore because of how much I love this. This, if I take out a bunch of this stuff in the light version, gets down to almost as small as that, uh, the smaller dot bag that I have and is very usable, but still has those compartments. And of course this one, I'm one, you know, my hair, I don't have a whole lot of it. I cut it fairly short. Uh, I don't need fancy conditioner and shampoo. I can get by with just the stuff that comes at the hotels. Now, some hotels actually have really good shampoo and conditioner. My wife's hair, as well, uh, uh, though, is a little more, if she doesn't use the right conditioner, it gets frizzy, it gets, you know, so she doesn't like doing it. She likes to bring her ours. No matter where we go, she always has her own shampoo and conditioner with her. And uh, so that's where this comes in. If you're, if you're a light packer, go with the small one. If you're not, and you definitely want to have those compartments, but also you're going to be bringing larger items, go with the standard size wash pouch. So that's the Peak Design wash pouches. I honestly can't say anything bad about them. They're both, I think, about perfect. Now, of course, leave it to Peak Design in two years to come out with an updated version that somehow made something better. But now that they have the two sizes, I think they hit the nail right on the head. If you're going for even longer trips that this isn't even big enough for, well, grab one of each, why not? This can be for your light items, this can be for all their other items. They make great bags and they're made out of the same great uh, waterproof uh, fabric that Peak Design's known for, as well as their really nice water-resistant zipper heads. So 
That's the Peak Design wash pouches. I will have links in the description. I will have uh, everything that you can check these out on their website, but purchase direct, purchase on Amazon, wherever I can get. I'll put all the links down below. Just check them out, um, but they're pretty awesome. So thank you for watching to the end of this video. I know it's a longer video for just two small wash pouches, but if you haven't noticed, I am a big supporter of these two products because I love them so much. Uh, they fixed an issue that I wouldn't say I knew as a big issue, but they made things trigger in my brain to say, okay, yeah, I am done with those other bags. This made travel that much better. And any little step to make my traveling more enjoyable is, uh, it adds up over time. So thanks for watching to the end of this video. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Let us know what you think. If you have these Peak Design wash pouches, let everybody know what you think of them. That's what that comment section is for. Let everybody know. So thanks for watching to the end, and we'll catch you back here on TechHooch for another video.